All right. Uh, what are we going to do today is I'm going to present my country to y'all. Y'all know I'm from Macedonia, but the uh, tough thing is spelling that name. So you won't be getting any teacher's help today. So I'll, what I would want for you is to try and spell, spell my country name. Anyone can go. M A S A. Wait, I do this. <laughs> What's the first word? M. All right. A. Okay. S. Nope. C. E. C. E. C. E. D. E. D. E. D. O. D. O. O. N. N. I. I. A. A. All right. You got that correct. Um, Macedonia. What it basically is, is a country that's very old, and um, it has a very long history, starting from uh, the founder of Macedonia was Philip II of Macedon, that's the father of Alexander the Great. He started, uh, basically where Macedonia came from is from, from his name. So, uh, when, uh, when he ruled, when he died, uh, after his son Alexander the Great, he took over the uh, the kingdom. So Macedonia, when uh, Alexander the Great was ruling, became very big and strong. I will show you now the map where how big it was. Now, so as you can see, where we are today is right here. And back then, all of this was. Alexander the Great's kingdom, but since he went, when he when he died, the kingdom started. Uh, Macedonia started losing wars, and they started losing their territory as well. Um, here is troops nowadays, where they represent his uh, uh, Alexander the Great's. Troops, there are uh, women which are representing liberty. Today, this is our flag, and uh, Macedonia today is its own country with its own name, its own flag. As you can see, the flag is, uh, is made from yellow and green, uh, I mean from uh, red, red and yellow colors. Um, there are 16... Um, 16 yellow, what do you call those? Stripes. Yeah, 16 stripes. Macedonia is a multicultural country. The population of it is 2.1 million people. Our population includes Albanians, Serbians, and Turkish people. Although it's multicultural, although it's a multicultural country, our native language is Macedonian. Uh, as far as for the language goes, we share a more different type of language than the American people. As we all know, English is written in Latin. Macedonian, in order, uh, in, on the other hand, uses Cyrillic letters. Macedonia is known for its friendly and joyful greeting. However, that's not the only thing. Macedonia is, is known as the country where tradition is respected, like food, national wear, ceremonies, and family reunions. This is, uh, this is what is basically our uh, traditional wear. So, um, this is all made from cotton, and it's handmade. Uh, nowadays, we don't, use, we don't wear that, so the people in, in the cities today are not dressed like that. Um, they, they keep them in theaters where you can go and see them, just like that. Uh, we do respect our tradition with all our beliefs, but that does not mean that we're not fashionable. Where when you when you walk in the city, you're gonna see that kind of people. They're not gonna be dressed like the pictures before. Um, Macedonia has a lot of saviors, a lot of people that have bring a lot of uh, attention in, in history. Mother Teresa is one of them. You all know her, what, what she did in India. Um, Macedonia also has a lot of actors, singers. Um, one of our most popular uh, singer that died, that, that died six years ago, his name was Tosha Brodsky. 
He, he died in a car accident. Uh, he knew like five to six languages. He, he was an incredible actor. He was a very, um, a very generous person. But his love ended too soon. Uh, Macedonia also has great wine. Um, the, the wine itself has a very big tradition. Um, it, it, had, it is old like two centuries. Uh, on, on the continent of Europe, Macedonia had the best, the best wine then, but when the wars were for that time, France came to Macedonia and invaded all the land and took over the wine recipe. So today, as we all know, France has the best wine. This is a traditional restaurant. Here, uh, as you can see, there, there's a, up above the, uh, when you climb the stairs, as you can see, there's the traditional wear. This is how, how it basically looks when you want to go to, the, to a traditional place to eat a traditional meal. Uh, a traditional meal means uh, like uh, meat and veggies. That's what uh, we mostly serve. And here on the table is, is a food called bonnet piperki, that means filled peppers. Uh, filled peppers is, uh, is a meal where peppers are filled with, uh, with meat, rice, and as you can see on the sides, there's some corn, there's some uh, homemade bread, vegetables, uh, pecans, and stuff like that. Here is a very traditional, uh, I can call it a type of bread. It's, it's very old and it's handmade. It's made from, um, from thin, thin leaves of bread with uh, feta cheese. And once you get all that done, you put it and you bake it. And that's how you get that thing. Uh, I, I would bring it today, but I'm not that good, so I can't make it. Um, this is also our most traditional, our most traditional meal. It's called pastrama, uh, pastramalia. Uh, it's served um, between fall and winter because it's very, very hard to eat. It has a lot of fat, but what it's interesting about it is how it's made and its taste. Um, what it, it's very simple though. It has only. This is bread, and that's pork meat. These are uh, spicy but soury uh, peppers, and most people, uh, most people with it get a, a glass of wine. It's a great combo. Um, also, uh, we might be a small country, but small does not mean that we're poor with with beauty and with uh, nature really did bless us. Uh, our country is, is covered with mountains, lakes, rivers. There, there's a lot of stuff that you can see. Uh, there are some, uh, there are a lot of waterfalls in Macedonia, but there are like five or six that are really breathtaking. This is our capital city. Um, that's that's a monument of Alexander the Great. That's that's actually a fountain. That's uh, that monument, if I'm not mistaken, was made like uh, a year and a half ago, and uh, it weighs like more than 200 tons. It's huge. When you, as you can see, the people are nothing compared to it. It's huge. Here, uh, these are monuments of the creator of the Kyrillic letter. That's the person which is dressed in green, colored in green, and a Macedonian hero. This is a theme park and fortress. 
the stuff in there is basically based on architecture and politics. This is a fountain of Macedonian women. Uh, what this fountain um, symbolizes is uh, how the Balkan women, how the Macedonian, Serbian, and the, and the other countries around Macedonia suffered uh, that time when, when, um, when, the, when Europe was under war. And what am I going to show you now is a video where you can see how it really was. <laughs> That gate is huge. This is this is also a theater. It's right next to a church. Um, the things there, um, what what it's basically made of, is um, how uh, Macedonia was under Turkish um, 
and um, that the Turkish kingdom was in Macedonia for five, five, five centuries, I think, five centuries, and it, all the history is in there. Uh, these are people that are symbolizing Alexander the Great soldiers. That's that's a city in Macedonia. This is the center of Skopje. That's our capital city. This is uh, Lake Okrit. Uh, also, Okrit has a very a very long history. And uh, as you can see, that wall over there, it's. Uh, our our king Samuel, he had his his kingdom was based on uh, like a, like a cliff. So when Macedonia was under attack, all of the people would gather behind that wall. Here you all know this man. This is Barack Obama, president of the United States of America. This is our president. His name is called Dr. Georgi Ivanov. He has been in his office since 2009. And uh, what are we doing? What, how Macedonia is uh, building itself today is basically um, going, going to the same plan as how America is going. Um, our friendship with America is very important for us. We all know America is a strong, strong country, and we're keeping we're keeping our friendship in a in a very good balance. So yes, only friendship will bring peace, and that's for today. Very good. I have one question. Some of y'all might have questions. What were they harvesting in the fields in the video? Uh, wheat. Wheat. Oh. wheat. Okay. Yes. Yeah, but um, <coughs> on on the video, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was. Yes. Me. Okay. Is there any other questions that any of you would like to ask? No.